short division with a decimal remainder. Today I will show you how to do this and get yourself one of these in the answer. And I think you're going to like it. Using a place value chart, we know that any number can be broken down into so many ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. Right after the ones, the smallest unit of whole is the decimal point. Everything to the right of that is a fraction of a whole. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. We can see that 200 is the same as 200.0 and 200.00. These are all ways of showing 200 and no fractional parts. Agreed? OK. When we do a division problem and get a remainder, we have just part of a whole group, which is the divisor amount, left over. It's a fractional part. That's where we get our decimal remainder. You want to know how to get that decimal remainder, like you get from a calculator. Here's how it's done with short division. Let's take the problem 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 5. I can see right away that I'm going to get a remainder because the last digit of the dividend is a 4. Only numbers ending in 5 or 0 are evenly divisible by 5. Everything else, remainder time. Since I know there will be a remainder, I get ready for it right as I set out the problem. I put a decimal point here in the dividend and directly above it on the answer line. I put in a couple of zeros as well. And we know that these two numbers mean the same thing. All good? OK then. Now I am ready for the calculation. First question, how many fives in 12? Two fives are 10, two left over gets us to 12. That's a remainder of two. How many fives in 23? Four fives are 20, three left over, remainder three. How many fives in 34? Six fives are 30, remainder four. Like always in short division, the remainder goes right in front of the next digit. That's here. I think you know what's next. We say, how many fives in 40? Eight fives are 40. Put the 8 up on the answer line. There's no remainder this time. So I did not need that extra zero after all. And that's OK. It was there if I had needed it. So we have our quotient, our answer of 246.8. One more to make sure you've got it. 8,335 divided by 4. Thinking about this problem for a moment before we even start, I know that nothing in the 4 times table ends in a 5, so I think this dividend is going to give me a remainder. So I get ready for it now. I put in my decimal point in the dividend and on the answer line, and I write in my zeros. This will let me move through the calculation without stopping to readjust the workspace part way through. Now, I am ready to calculate. 4's into 8, 2 4's are 8. 4's into 3, it doesn't go. Put up a 0. Now, we can't just ignore that 3. We haven't used it yet. So now we say, how many 4's in 33? 8 4's are 32, remainder 1. 4's into 15. 3 4's are 12, remainder 3. Now, 4's into 30. 7 4's are 28, remainder 2. And how many 4's in 20? 5 4's are 20, no remainder. Put the 5 up on the answer line and I have finished. How was that? Straightforward, I hope. If you are doing division with decimal remainders and you suspect a remainder will crop up, go ahead and get ready for it with the decimal point and zeros as soon as possible. 
It will make the math thinking flow better for you. Now go and practice some for yourself. Then check your own work with a calculator afterwards. And I hope you are pleased with your new math skill.